This is the first episode in a series of growing tomatoes hydroponically inside during the winter. And today, we're going to look at how to get started. If you are an outside gardener, frost has not devastated your tomato crop, then you can take cuttings from your existing plants. Unfortunately, I waited until after my first frost so I'm salvaging badly injured plants. Fortunately, it was not a hard freeze, and the plants are still a bit alive, although they're definitely limping along. As we discussed in an earlier video, tomatoes root very easily when you put them in water. Hopefully, the frost damage is not too much for mine to be able to recover. You see that we did get a couple plants to root and have a bit of new growth, so we just cut off the damaged portions, and then we replace the water with hydroponic solution. I'm using Master Blend from the Morgan County Seed Company. I mix together one teaspoon of it with one teaspoon of calcium nitrate and a half teaspoon of Epsom salt, and then I put them all together in a gallon of water. I will have links to all three of these things in the description below. There are a lot of other hydroponic solution options out there. I hear good things about the flora system, to which I also will link below. Once you have chosen your hydroponic solution, and after you have some roots, just substitute the water with which you have been growing the roots for the hydroponic solution. You can leave the plants in the solo cups for now. At this point, you need to decide how you want to grow your plants. A sunny south-facing window can work, but I would suggest some sort of a grow setup if you're really trying to get any production. We had a great video on building a makeshift growing space out of a rubber tote and a shop light, but there are also commercial options available that I will also link to below. If it is too late to salvage a tomato plant from outside, do not fret. We can also start our hydroponic growing more traditionally from seed. I am using Texas wild cherry tomato seeds. These are fairly small tomatoes, so I'm very optimistic about our chances to grow them successfully indoors. But you can be successful even growing the biggest of tomatoes indoors too. If you are starting from seeds, I recommend using rock wool plugs. If you have a local hydroponics store, they can be found there, or you can just buy these online. Just put them in the water and let them get moist and then put your seeds on them. I like to put one in the pre-made hole and then one seed in another hole or two that I just kind of make with my fingers. I then cover them with some plastic wrap and place them in a, a warm spot where they can uh, germinate. Check them every day and when they have sprouted, then you're going to be moving them to the growing area and placing them under whatever lights you may have. So that is it for the first video of our series on growing tomatoes indoors hydroponically. Stay tuned for further updates throughout the winter.